Yo, welcome to another different YouTube video. Now we have a update for you. It's not a huge one. It's just a little one. It's a good little addition to the game. I'm just gonna read it out, then I'll show you a little bit of in-game footage. But anyway, let's have a look. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, Timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. Also, there'll be a link to my Discord where we all discuss different Year two, other games. You know, you can see my highlights from streams and stuff like that. And also a link to my Twitch channel where you can, you know, watch us play the game live every single night. But anyway, on with the video. Right, the new update, version 0 0.136. You can now, all right, so when you hit level 30, that, that's your max level. But you can now continue to gain XP at the level cap, which is 30. Filling your XP bar will grant you one die of a random color and a rare enhancer, all right? So the rare enhancer can be used to upgrade any common or superior piece of equipment. So, you know, like a gun or a clothing or anything like that to a rare of the character's level. So you can get a level one two by four and you can now turn it into a rare level 30 two by four. Like you can do it with anything, literally anything. But it's got to be common or superior. Any mods already on the item will be kept, but their percentage can change. And... Like, say if you got a superior with, like, one stat or two stat, you'll probably get a rare. Them two, that one or two stats will be made higher, depending on how low it is. Um, and you'll probably get, you know, a couple of bonus stats. Clothing dye can be used to change the color of clothing. Obviously, that's what it does. Right, um, we've also added the German language to the game. The bug that causes zombies and bosses to die when multiple people jumped in the room uh, should be fixed. That should be fixed now. Hitboxes on outdoor objects can be fixed to reduce frustration. Oh, have been fixed, sorry, to reduce frustration. Okay, awesome. NPCs and players no longer block bullets when not in a PvP mode. Now, I don't... Again, to reduce frustration. Yeah, I agree. That is an annoying thing in the game, but I don't think he's fixed that because I did a outpost attack and I was shooting. Some guy got in the way and the bullets were still hitting the guy. I don't, I don't know. It might just... I don't know. But I don't think that's been sorted out. Kit can now hit up to three targets at once, like melee. You know, it's a good little addition to the game. Helps people out to use kick. NPC coughs has been reduced. Finally. Go sick of hearing that all the time. Like, <coughs> every time you go into, <coughs> you know what I mean? It was so annoying. It was, it was annoying. Fixed a couple of crashes. Walking footsteps now correctly alert zombies based on uh, the character's sound radius. Zombies can no longer vomit while standing up, but he has messed up the vomiting um, on the zombies, but obviously he's going to fix that. He's, he said that should be done by the end of tonight, hopefully. Uh, he also says it there, I'll read it in a second. Fix the bug that causes, what, impassable rooms, okay. Pallets are no longer climbable, awesome. Um, the next part, I'm aware that vomiting is totally broken in the last update. Compiling a fix now, should be up within a few hours. So by the time you watch this, hopefully it's uh, on the zombies will be fixed the vomiting zombies so there's a couple of draw like some really good things about this update and a couple of drawbacks i'll go into them and then we'll have a look at the clip so the good thing is like say me i'm level 30 so when i was done with a boss and i was done like with all the bosses and i wanted to go back to the safe room i'd think right i'll just kill me and i'll get there quicker now i don't want to do that because obviously i want to fill my xp bar up to get the uh the enhancer and the die um the drawback to this is the market's been demolished. <laughs> like, we'll get to that in the end of the video, but the market, like, all the top tier weapons, like, the common versions. So, the, the biggest tip I can give you with if you get an enhancer is use it on a common, not a superior. Because superiors have a couple of stats, some of them can be good. You don't want to, like, I had, I had a sawn off shotgun with 33 lockpick. And let's have a look at the clip, and then uh, you can see, see it for yourself. So, let's go to the clip. Oh, he's not dying. There it is. Congratulations on filling our XP bar. You have received the following reward. Rare enchantment and a brown die. We got a fucking brown die. I don't want a brown die. I want a black die. Black dies are where the money's at. I tell you now. If you can sell them. Alright, here it is. The update. Obviously, congratulations on filling your XP bar. It filled up. It's restarted. It's gone back down to zero. We got a brown dye combined with a piece of clothing to change the color to change its color note. Not all colors are available available on all clothing types. All right. Rare enhancement combined with a common or superior piece of equipment to roll rare stats based on the character's current level. 
any existing stats will be kept, but their percentage may change. So we're going to use this on my superior sawn off shotgun, which has 33% lockpick chance and 21% attack speed. Are you ready? Right, combine. Superior sawn off shotgun. Are you ready? I'm kind of I hope it don't fuck my shotgun up. I'm hoping the stat stays the same or goes higher. If it goes lower, that 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 will suck. Are you ready? I'm scared. <laughs> if this is if this item fucks up, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get another one of these shotguns. I saw enough shotgun with 33% lockpick. Alright, it's done. It's done. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it will fuck it up. It might fuck it up. Which one is it? Right, that's the one that I already had. It's this one. 27% lockpick chance, 32 weapon attack speed, 24 kick stun duration. So it's lowered my lockpick, hired my weapon attack speed, and gave me a bonus stat. So you, but you get a bonus. I'm, I don't. That's okay. <laughs> my, mine was high lockpick though. Alright, so there you have it. There's the clip. Um, obviously, my lockpick went down a little bit, but that's because I had a really, really high lockpick. And you can just, basically what it does is it just gives you in between the radius of max and lowest. So you can change it to whatever it wants. So be careful if you're upgrading a superior that you really like. If I knew it was going to do that, I probably wouldn't have done that. Um, but yeah, one of, the, one of the downsides to the whole thing is like the M1 Grand, the HK5 and the Sonoff Shotgun, if you have a look on the market now. There's no hope for us. Weapon, M1. Let's look for a common, any level. There's one on the market, let me buy that. <laughs> That's it. There's now no M1s on the market. I'm going to upgrade that tomorrow. I will enhance that tomorrow. I'll put it in tomorrow's video. I'll make a video tomorrow of me enhancing that. But that's, that's it. There's now no M1s. There's no sawn offs. There's no sawn offs. What is it? Uh, HK? I don't think I've done that right. I don't even know the actual name of it. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, weapons. Submachine guns. So look. Yeah. Yeah, so, HK, any grade, loads of them, yeah? Go down to superior, some superiors, let's go to the commons, literally not a single one on the market. Like, that's not a problem, it just means you'll have to loot your own, but if someone gets to level 30 and they can't really afford, like, you know, the 900 and they was hoping to get, like, a common at about 300, 400, it's not going to happen anymore. Because they've all just been cleaned off at market, like totally cleaned. But they are, they are still there. Um, a good, one tip I will give you with this update, if you go to use it, is probably try and find... If you want to try your luck, go with a common. Um, let's go with some machine. Let's go with HK again. Let's go with HK. Um, if you want to get certain stats, go with a superior look for that stat like for this they probably want like attack damage um like headshot damage or something like body damage here 14 so if you wanted body damage obviously you'd buy this then you'd upgrade it on the off chance well yeah you'd upgrade it and obviously your body damage would go up like because this is a level 20 i'm a level 30 this is a level 20 and it's a superior so that weapon body damage might go up between you know 25 and 35 but then you find medical chance again will go up between 25, 35, whatever it is. I, can't, I don't really know. And then you probably get like an extra one or two stats. So if you're after a certain thing, then obviously try and find a superior. If you want to try your luck on just getting some beastie things, go with a common even though you can't buy them. <laughs> like So keep your commons. Keep superiors that you like. Stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it helped. Um, give it a like. Drop uh, anything in the comments that you want to know. Like, if you got any advice on videos, or you want to see something, or you, you know, just anything, you know, drop a comment. Don't forget, you can check in the description below for my link to my Discord and my Twitch. So, peace out, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.